Paul went past the win. Mr. Speaker, Monday's open uh, mic night in Montreal, hosted by the leader of the opposition, shows just how out of touch he is with Canadians. During the event, he committed to reintroduce a bill to decriminalize marijuana for recreational oh, use, no. but made no mention of what he would do to combat the serious drug traffickers and producers that threaten the safety of our communities. Can the Minister of Justice please update the House on what our government is doing to deal with this very important issue? Honourable Minister of Justice. Well, first of all, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank this honourable member uh, for his question, and I want to point out to this House that the Government of Canada does not support the decriminalization of marijuana in this country. Let's see if we got this right. The Liberals want to go easy on people who get involved with drugs, but they want to crack down on people who do not fill out the census. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> what is it about the Liberal Party, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to anything to do with the justice system or reality. law enforcement, they always get it wrong. Can you answer that, Mr. Speaker, for me, please? Honorable Member for Abbotsford. Mr. Speaker, the Liberal leader offers very few solutions when it comes to getting tough on crime. He panders to the drug users rather than joining our government in getting tough on traffickers and producers of drugs. On Monday, he said he would reintroduce a bill to decriminalize marijuana. This just shows that he values scoring political points over getting tough on the serious crimes that threaten the safety of our communities. Can the Minister of Justice tell us what he thinks of the Liberal leader's recent announcement? The Honourable Minister of Justice. I don't think very much of it. This is exactly why we instituted the National Anti-Drug Strategy, Mr. Speaker, to specifically discourage people from getting involved with drugs. But, Mr. Speaker, the Liberals obviously have a different approach, Mr. Speaker. Again, this is why I always say, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to standing up against uh, criminals in this country, when it comes to standing up for victims and fighting crime in this country, there's only one party and one government you can trust, and it's this Conservative government. Hey, hey.